From first to among the worst, in recent years, Portland's downtown hotel market was the hottest spot in the country, which led to a steady stream of new hotels filled with restaurants. So industry insiders tell Queen 6 they're still in shock, though, over how it quickly fell apart in 2020. So is Portland over? Tonight, our Wayne Haverly takes an in-depth look at Portland's struggling tourism industry and the efforts to heal downtown's bruised reputation. A disaster, horrific. Those are just a few of the terms that some of Portland's top hoteliers are using to describe what happened to Portland's tourism industry since the start of this pandemic. Downtown Portland has long been an international tourist magnet, but the city's polarity reversed in 2020 and transformed into a troubled place that's now pushing those much needed visitors away. Oh, it's been horrific. Uh, this has been a tough year. George Schweitzer runs Portland's historic Benson Hotel, a place that's never closed its doors to tourists in over 100 years until December of 2020. That's when the hotel's occupancy rate fell from around 90% before the pandemic to single digits. And so we had 165 employees before COVID hit. Uh, in December, we had uh, six employees. I had to lay everyone off. We closed for uh, most of December and all of January. The Benson is among 22 Portland hotels that temporarily closed, leaving thousands without work. The soaring 455 room downtown Hilton, directly across the street from the Benson, was also shut down and boarded up. Another dramatic example, the brand new 600 room Hyatt Hotel, built with public funding to bring more conventions to town, had only been open a few months when the pandemic hit. Its doors closed, all its newly hired employees laid off for more than a year. Now most of the closed hotels, including the Hyatt, recently reopened, but occupancy rates remain very low, which is why so many hotel employees are still out of work. One of the most painful things for us in our hotels is having to lay off 80% of your staff for an extended period of time. It's an extremely painful and an emotional thing. We have people that have been with us like family for you know, decades. Mike Daly manages several Portland hotels and is chairman of Travel Portland, the city's largest tourism marketing organization. So if you could use one word to name 2020 and what it did to the Portland hotel industry, what would that be? <laughs> one word, devastating. Coin6 compiled data from STR, a hotel research company that shows occupancy rates in downtown Portland were at 77% in 2019, then plunged to just 31.8% in 2020. Year to date through April, downtown hotels are just under 27% occupied. We're one of the two worst hotel markets in the country right now, and it's to do with the civil unrest that's gone on for quite a period of time. While tourists have been avoiding the downtown area, occupancy rates at hotels near PDX, like the Sheridan, which daily manages, have been holding up much better. In April, airport hotels had a 55% occupancy rate. That's a whopping 22 percentage points higher than hotels downtown. That's a drastic change from 2019, when downtown hotels clearly outperformed the hotels near the airport. My name is Ashish Samuel, and I'm here with my mom, from Moore Park, California. This is the first ever visit to Portland for these Southern California residents. Watch your step. And it's the remarkable history of the ornate Benson Hotel that attracted them to downtown Portland. Even so, they admit their fear of civil unrest and street corner homeless camps made their trip a difficult decision. Yeah, so we were a little bit hesitant. After coming here, we didn't know what to expect, but when we saw the tents, and all the homeless, we were a little bit more hesitant and a little bit more scared. I've had guests that love coming to Portland and they say, what happened to your city? You know, what has happened? It's those letters that really, I think, share the sentiment that's a little frightening. Schweitzer believes complaining and criticizing is a waste of time. So he teamed up with Solve, which now operates regular downtown litter and graffiti cleanups right out of his hotel, with more than 100 volunteers taking to the streets. We've been doing that for the last seven months consistently. Pretty proud of that. It's important to note that our research discovered Portland is not the only West Coast market struggling to attract tourists. 
Hotel occupancy data shows that just like Portland, 2019 was a banner year for tourists in Seattle and San Francisco. But in 2020, the city by the bay plunged from a hotel occupancy rate of 85.2% to 40. And the Emerald City dropped from 79.3% to 27.6. That's actually worse than Portland during the same period. All three cities continue to struggle. I do believe the future is going to be very good for our city. This is a, a chance and an opportunity for us to reinvent our city. Uh, but it's going to take some you know, effort and focus to do so. Optimism does remain that Portland's black eye will eventually heal and the downtown will again attract back those tourists needed to bring back the city's hotel industry. However, there are no illusions about how much hard work it will take to restore downtown to its former glory. We are starting to see some positive signs. The Memorial Day weekend was much busier than expected, and hotel occupancy rates are starting to trend in the right direction. And at PDX, they just had by far the busiest month since the pandemic began. Wayne Haverly, Coin 6 News.